Recently, there is uh, some discussion we have uh, entered into with one of our partners uh, and friend, uh, United Kingdom, something to do with the migration. I know it has caused another confusion, and I want to explain it to you. <laughs> And again, I'm, I'm, I first had to say what I said, and I, I brought, then I br bring this because it should be seen in that context of who we are and who we want to be. Uh, because I have seen some people say, you know, uh, that United Kingdom gave us money and then they want to dump people here. <laughs> no. <laughs> We, we don't do that kind of thing. <laughs> we, we, we don't uh, buy and sell people. <laughs> we can't do that, again, because of our core values. But I'll tell you what happened, and uh, so that everyone is clear in their minds. Uh, in 2018, if many of you may recollect, I was the chair of the African Union. And uh, during that time, uh, so many stories, you know, uh, many young, maybe some of them old Africans were perishing, dying in big numbers in the Mediterranean, being uh, taken through Libya and uh, to many parts of Europe. And I remember reading a story about uh, a, a Ghanaian young man, an engineer, who happened to be following this path, and uh, there are people, there are smugglers, they have networks who take people from Africa, different parts, and smuggle them into Europe. And that time they were using uh, Libya, because of uh, its uh, statelessness, there was confusion, there was no state in control. And in fact, hundreds, if not thousands of them were trapped in Libya in different places in the prisons, starving to death, others abused in all sorts of ways. Some people had started coming, picking some of them and taking them to their countries to use them as slaves slaves. Uh, so, and we were somewhere discussing with some of the leaders, and I was telling them, why don't we address this problem? I said, for example, for me, I'm not just going to suggest this uh, theoretically that it can work. I want to even provide an example. I said, let's find ways if we got all these people trapped in Libya who can't, they can't go back to where they came from, they can't uh, move ahead to Europe where they wanted to go. Uh, and I told them, I can assure you, with all our weaknesses and whatever we have in our country, these people, if they were brought to Rwanda, they would live a better life than they are living in Libya in these prisons. I said, so if we brought them, then other countries interested in helping in this program, we can do the following. One, we can ask these people whether they want to go back to where they came from now that they found themselves mistaken and in a very terrible situation in Libya they may end up wanting to go back home. Uh, because I had read that story of the Ghanaian I was telling you, who, who was, for him, he was an, an educated man, a young man, but I think illusioned about, I, I think he was an engineer, I, I read it, but for some reason he wasn't employed. And so the networks that were smuggling people to Europe took him and when he was in Libya, he got stuck. He found he was not going forward. He could, so he had paid some amount of money which he got from his parents. I 
you remember the story we were talking about eight or nine hundred dollars we had been paying through this, this, to these smugglers. And uh, so he started so negotiating with the smugglers to take him back and he would pay the same amount of, again, the other, same amount of money, which means uh, 1,600 or 1,800. But this time he didn't have it. It would be paid when he got back to Ghana by, I think, his parents. So the smugglers took him back. But this is because he discovered there was no way of continuing to Europe. But even if he had reached Europe, I, by the way, I'm not sure, maybe what he had in mind he would become or he was going to be the case. Maybe he was just going to be the same person as he was in Ghana, even in uh, Europe, wherever he would be. He wasn't going to get that good living now. But anyway, so agreed, if they arrived here, they could easily be taken back home if they choose to go back home. Second, those European countries that uh, have uh, allowed migrants to come to Europe should come and stably select those they want to take to their countries, and uh, that would be still better than these people being trapped in Libya. Then third, we provided another option. We said, for those who can't go back, or don't want to go back for some reason of their own, and may not be selected by the countries that want to absorb them, we are giving them another option. We can actually find ways in which they can stay here. There were these three options in 2018. So I think that's how now this new situation developed. With the UK and others contacting us. It's like they learned from this case and said, can we have people processed here stably, instead of being smuggled into our countries and doing this and that. And this time, they are not just going to be Africans, they may be a number of them Africans, they're going to be other people from other countries. We allowed uh, people from Afghanistan to come here. They are, even now, they are still uh, students who were brought here, they are still staying with us. So I'm saying there are things that have really changed about us. And, and that's why I'm saying we, we don't have to learn values from anybody ourselves. We, we have values in us that we go by. Uh, so we can, we can absorb Afghanistan, people from Afghanistan, from wherever, from, and if they are from Africa, we, we are even happier. <laughs> we, because they are like, we take them like uh, family. So when the UK approached us, and because of that problem they have, I think they are smuggling people in these countries, left, right, center. And, uh, and, uh, so if we could talk about uh, how to deal with that problem, we are happy to deal with that problem. There is, uh, I understand, Denmark. Is, uh, so there is nothing uh, bad about this, there is nothing we can't be transparent about this, there is nothing, we, so this is what it is. <laughs> so, and this is who we are too. So I wanted to clear this please. We, this is why I was saying uh, there are things you can't buy about us. We are who we are and we, we are proud people too. So we are not uh, 
involved in buying and selling of people. People will have different views about it. They look at it differently. They're not happy about it. That's okay. People will have look at it. But at the end of the day, you've got to do something. I'm a king, yes, I'm a king, go I think I'm a king, go king.